Hello everyone. In this video series, I would like to share with you how I use AI in the classroom, but also how I use AI to prepare my classes. I'm a computer science teacher at Archbishop Malloy High School in Queens, New York, teaching freshmen, juniors, and seniors. So today I want to create a PowerPoint presentation really fast using ChatGPT, the paid version, uh, and a couple of plugins. So the plugins that I downloaded and installed are AnySlides and SlideMaker, and I'll let ChatGPT decide which it wants to use. Currently I'm working with my freshmen on loops, so those are while loops and for loops, and I want to create a slide deck where I present pieces of code with a little error in them. And then I want my students to see what the error is and uh, detect what the error is and let me know what they think is wrong with the code. So I already created a prompt that kind of introduces to ChatGPT what it is that I would like ChatGPT to do. It's kind of an introduction for ChatGPT, so it knows what role I want it to play. And I'll just copy the prompt. And this will be my first prompt after I, of course, enabled any slides and slide makers, the extensions. So now we're ready to go. So I'm saying, I want you to be my assistant in class. I'm teaching high school kids. They are learning computer science. Right now we are learning the language Python, more specifically loops both for and while loops. We're also learning the range function. We are also using some variables. When you're ready, like I said, say ready. So he says ready, he's ready now. So ChatGPT now knows what I expect ChatGPT to do. So now I'm gonna ask, uh, can you create, uh, let's say 20 pieces of Python code that involve loops for and while loops but not lists that have a little error just give me the code and one line of explanation why this code is wrong so I have to be a little bit explicit but still this is just two sentences so let's see what it comes up with now because of the plugins I can now quickly create a slide deck out of these 19 well 20 pieces of code with a little error in it. So now I, um, I'm going to ask ChatGPT, uh, can you create a slide deck out of these 20 uh, pieces of code with errors using one of the plugins? I'm not even sure if I have to mention that, but you know, you, the, the more clarity you give ChatGPT, the, the better chance you have of actually getting what you want. Every page should have the same title. Okay, let's, let me just see what happens if I ask it to do this. All right. And ChatGPT is ready. So now it gives me a link. So this link will instantly take me to a page where, where I can download the PowerPoint presentation. Import. And there is your PowerPoint presentation. 
Like I said, with a little bit smarter prompt, I could have saved myself a little bit of extra time. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Please let me know what you think of the result and the time we saved ourselves in the comments. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and you can follow for more of these videos. Thank you so much.